Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to Justin's house. In this video, I'm going to show you a new Tokyo feature that lets you bulk delete records in ServiceNow without writing scripts. Yes, that's the way we used to do it. If you wanted to get rid of a bunch of old records, um, you either you know basically wrote fixed scripts or did some kind of programmatic way to get rid of those. But with Tokyo, we can now do that safely using the UI. You don't have to be a programmer. You don't have to know JavaScript to actually write that script. So let's actually take, I've got a list of incidents behind me. I'm gonna look for all the incidents that were created um, before this year. So basically I'm simulating that um, we, we, I'm simulating that we may want to purge some records from the system, right? Now, incidents, yeah, you probably wouldn't do this. That's probably not a realistic example. But think of things like logs or events that you're tracking and stuff like that. Um, we'll just do this year here and run that. So this one's going to give me about 66 records that uh, were created before this year, mostly demo data. And what you can do, what's new in Tokyo, is you can right-click the header and there's a new option called data management. So I'll highlight it right there so you can see it. And in this video, we're talking about delete with preview. So that's a new feature. I'm gonna go ahead and select that and you're gonna see this new data management record that gets created. And the whole reason I'm making a video is that's actually pretty cool in what it tells you about what you're gonna delete. So not only does it bring in that filter condition that I had already put in there, it's gonna actually let me preview how many records are going to get deleted and how many cascaded records are going to get deleted so if i click preview cascade it's going to run and kind of preview what all is going to be impacted and we're going to see things like uh, slas impacted cis um, other things that are related to an incident that you wouldn't think about but because they are downstream of that record by deleting the record you need to delete those downstream items so here we see that's refreshed now. We got the screen and just to the left of my head, you see, oh, oh wow, we even have a story. So a story from Agile, a task SLA, some impacted CIs, all the incidents that were in our filter, the 66 plus some time worked entries are all gonna get deleted if we were to do this um, data management deletion. So we've previewed it and uh, I'm gonna go ahead now and click on execute because I have one more cool feature to show you that um, let's say you, got everybody's approval you click through the warning you hit proceed and you did everything you're supposed to do and uh, you can watch the progress of it up here at the top on um, this little progress worker so basically it's running in the background and the page is refreshing kind of checking the status of that pro progress worker but then um well let's let this finish and i'll show you what's cool about this Okay, everyone, it finished. I'm gonna put the time right over here that I edited out of the video. It did take a few minutes. I wanna be transparent with you. It was not quick, um, so there's stuff going on there. But let's go ahead and get to the cool parts that I wanna show you. I can check the execution results or I can go back to the list view of that incident that I was actually deleting. But I'm gonna go actually look at the execution results and show you how detailed it actually gets in what it deletes. Um, so we're gonna see things like you saw in the preview there around stories, task SLAs, and stuff like that. Um, there's some journal entries now that were added and some actual attachments. All that makes sense, right? Attachments on records that you deleted, you probably wanna get rid of them. But what we have now that that delete job is done are two new links for rollback and view rollback context. So it's kind of like the preview and execute that we just saw on the delete job. So if we view the rollback context, we're basically going to see all of the records that actually got deleted. So even though we deleted 66 incidents, look at this, 716 records were actually affected or impacted by this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click the rollback. So this is what I was getting at to on the previous screen. If you did everything you were supposed to do and then someone came back and said, no, 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 bring that stuff back, you do got uh, a rollback option. Um, hopefully if you've done your planning, you don't need to do that. And you type in yes here, and it's going to run and do that rollback for you. And you're going to see the progress as it moves through rolling back that those data changes and flushing the cache, it, cache if it's actually needed. So I'll close that. Now that's a lot faster than the actual delete. The delete took some time as you saw on the screen there. But uh, that is how you can, in Tokyo, safely bulk delete records 
from the table. Notice I didn't write any scripts, there was no code, it was all through the UI, and I had a safe way to do it. Now obviously this would be limited to an admin role, or someone that you would want doing that, but now this is something you can do with no code in the platform, and I'm super excited about it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in bulk data deletion in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.